Haven't even got my line wet. Hank already got what I was titling this video, of course, the elusive creek bass. Let's go check it out. Oh yeah. Nice one. Oh that. Right. Little creek bass. That's what we're going for today. Even though we're gonna catch everything. How's it going everybody? And welcome back to another episode of D Square Fishing. Hope you all have been doing good today. As you can tell, got the waders on. So going creek fishing. Today, what we are trying to find are the elusive, the hard to find creek bass. Yes. <laughs> We're trying to find some bass in this creek here. Uh, of course, we catch a ton of bluegills, brim, and uh, whatnot. And before I even got to do the intro of this video, Hank already hooked up on a creek bass. So, we're going to, <clears throat> once again, use our patented rooster tails. 1 8 white, that's the color. Silver blade, that's what I like to use, and that's what I'm going to stick with. But hey, if you guys got some comments on what to use that is your favorite creek bait, go ahead and leave a comment down below. While you're doing that, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and stay tuned. Plenty of fishing videos to come. So let's go ahead, get our lines wet, go see if we can catch us the elusive creek bass. Let's get to it. Like I was saying, starting out, a little white 1 8 rooster tail. Ain't white, white 1 8 rooster tail. All right, that's good. Good sign already. Little bass hiding in the corner over there in the shade. Got my little Zebco slingshot here. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was a bass there for a second. It's not. Look, y'all. Look how. Look at it. About as long as a bath, but it has like you know the blue kill bluegill coloration. That's a big mouth. It might be these war mouth that Hank's been talking about. War mouth have big mouth, right? Yeah. yeah, look how big that mouth is on that little thing. Okay, look at that. A little war mouth. A little teeny one. Alright. So they kind of look like bluegill with the little blue. Big, yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay, well, that's pretty cool, y'all. Oh, I just got, just got nailed. You got one? What is that, bass? It's a what? What is it? No, it's a bass. Ain't got two basses today. Two and zero. And here's the funny thing, he was hooked on while I was sitting there messing with my life. Wow. Got something. Bass? I don't know, we'll see. Yeah. Yes! Alright. Alright, we have completed the challenge. I need to see Still. you. I, I knew it. I mean, I see That's a catch. Yeah, there he goes. Catch and release. There you go. Woo! Right, did it. We can go home. The elusive creek bass. Man, I didn't get to touch it. I touched it with my pinky. Alright, Hank has... I just didn't see where it went. He just disappeared. Alright y'all, we're coming to the spot that's known to have some bass. And as you can tell, as we're getting closer to it, this little calm area right here, this little pool, that's where they like to congregate and hang out. And one time we was here, we saw a striper like this big, didn't catch it. Oh, game over. Game over, man. Game over. I thought it went over three branches. Okay. Oh, right. oh, here we go. What we got? 
All right. Oh. Yes. Let me touch this one. Come here. There you go. All right. The elusive creek bass. Woo. Two and two. Now we go. I mean, catching those brim are fun too. I just trying to do a little challenge, hunting for the creek bass. There you go. On a rooster tail. See if I can do a good little photo off here. Rooster tail. Let me put it right there. There you go. There you go. I'm all sideways and stuff. Let's go this way. All right, there you go, y'all. Let's let this bad boy go after when I hook myself in the phone. There you go. Had a little, had a little fight to it. There you go. Yeah. Hey David, there's a tree limb there. I end it with a tree. Matrix. Fish is a fish, a fish, of course. Oh! You see that one jump at it? Did you hear it? Oh, brim. Blue yellow songman fish. There you go. Hey, the, got this one on the side, or it's a big one. Oh, it's a big bass. It's a big bass. Come here. Stop, 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 stop. Gotcha. <sighs> yes. Double trouble. Pretty nice size, and I caught it on a little, a little the smaller, um, uh, there you go. All right, y'all. Man, he has a bruise mark on his side there, on both sides. I wonder if he was under a rock and I yanked him out, because it was pretty tough there for a second. I thought I was stuck on a rock. All right, y'all. Yeah. There you go, y'all. Once again, rooster tail, white, silver blade, creek fishing adventure, bass fishing, hunting down the elusive bass. Let's let him go. See here. See if he'll swim away. There you go, he's ready. Ready, come on. There you go. Woo! All right, y'all. That's three of the elusive bass. rare in these parts. They're like the Yeti. Alright y'all. Like I was saying, pretty much <clears throat> it was probably hanging around um, I know you guys can't see but there's a log like right there and I threw it you know, skimming across, I guess, this way. All that cover, bass like, fish like, especially trout. Just to kind of show you guys what to look for when you're creek fishing and stuff. Like, here's a good example. Like, you got this rushing water coming through here, and then you got this stump right here, or you got this tree coming in the water, you got these banks. And you see how it's nice and calm in this area right here? You know, that's, you know, that's where the fish like to congregate. You know, it could be a bass like right up in there, just chilling, hiding, uh, and, you know, brim, anything really crappy, be all up in here. But, you know, that's what you guys want to look for. <clears throat> now, sometimes, um, 
you can't even see it, but like Saint in this Russian stuff, there's a rock in the water. Pin up underneath that rock and sit there and relax and hang out. Waiting for easy meals to come by. And uh, this is what this rooster tail pretty much imitates is, you know, just a little, little shiny little minor. Got one right here. Oh, that one was yanking good. I didn't even set the hook. And no, uh, it young. Oh man, I should have yanked on it. I was just like playing with it as I was speaking. I tell him what that was. I didn't even see that one. All right, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed that video, and thank you for watching Discord Fishing. It was awesome to go to this creek and try to put a little challenge where you know the only way we can win is if we catch the elusive creek small well, sorry not small large mouth bass so hey we did pretty good caught three caught two hank or i caught three hank caught two he caught one like right off the bat before i even got to do my intro so i knew that was going to be a good day to uh essentially catch those uh large mouth creek bass i call them creek bass but you know they're large mouth bass but anyway thank you for watching hit that like hit that subscribe stay tuned leave comments and once again this is david d square fishing Catch you all later on the next video.